Look how easy it is to build with N8N. Click build, search for what you want. Let's grab this one here, paste it in, boom, there we go. We have a whole video automation in what? Three, four seconds. Oh, but you're still confused? Well, just ask and get all the instructions you need to get started. And if you suck at making prompts for your AI agents, just click generate prompt, wait for it for a sec, and we get the full system prompt generated for us. But if we want to optimize it just a little bit more, just to make it a little bit better, we can click on optimize prompt, give that a little weight as well. And boom, we have an optimized prompt as well, ready to go. And are you one of those people who avoid using the code node, even though it's the most powerful node in NA10? Well, come over here, put in your prompt in the little text editor right here, press generate code, wait a few seconds just so it can generate, and boom, you have fully functional JavaScript code ready to go. And if you need to make JSON for your structured output parser, press generate JSON, wait for a few seconds, Boom, we're done, it's ready to go. And if we want to do that in a set node as well, we can also do that. Generate JSON, wait a few seconds, and we're good to go as well. And let's say the JSON you made had some mistakes in it. So we'll even break this up a bit. And it needed to be fixed, but you couldn't find a solution for it. Well, that's why we have the fix JSON button right here. Wait around. And boom, it's fixed. And we can also do it in the HTTP request node right here. Just click on fix JSON and all of this will get fixed up just in seconds. There we go. And now we have open router API support so we can choose from six different models which have all been tested thoroughly hundreds to thousands of times each. Uh, we do have different themes, a new theme as well that's been made for the purple theme as well. So we have the green matrix, the galaxy quantum, the purple dot trail, and we also have light mode, dark mode. So if I can open up this right here and we can see right here, we have the matrix green. We have the light mode as well. Okay, so depending on your preference, you can choose it and anything that you wanna do. And let's say you're building for clients, you need to save some nodes just to speed up the process as well. So you can click the plus little button down here. And right here, we have everything from, you know, a Telegram AI bot, which we can just paste right in. That's already ready to go. We have a Telegram AI agent ready to go. Now we can also get more. We can get the Blotato poster. We can post that down here. That's also ready to go. I mean, anything you want, we could get another big you know, automation right here. 42 nodes. All right, let's zoom out a bit because it's gonna be pretty big. Boom. I know that's overlapping everything, but there we go. Nice big automation ready to go. Well, it's not ready to go. You will have to configure it obviously you know with your own credentials and everything but how quick is that if you need to clear the history we can just click this button right here we can see what model we're speaking with at the time as well and if we want to you know toggle the chat to make it bigger or smaller we can also do that now if you do want to move around this button you can do that as well and the chat will actually move with it as well okay so we can place it over here the chat gets placed over there as well you know obviously you probably wouldn't have it in the middle of the screen but it's a nice little feature as well. So in terms of the chat here, the chat in itself actually has, I put in uh, five different agents within the chat as well. So all of these agents do specific tasks. They're not all the same agents. They each handle, you know, a special task, you know, based on what they do. So we can even discuss right here. So let's see if we can talk to the workflow agent. So I'm gonna send a message right here. What's a good beginner workflow to make? I'll send that off and let's wait for its reply. And there we go, we get a nice response right here. And we can see that the workflow agent is the one who's responded to our query as well, okay? And they've given a little simple beginner workflow that you could possibly work through as well if you, you, know, if you really like to. And if we need help with specific nodes, we can just click one of these nodes and we see the little help with one node right here, okay? Whenever we click on something, we get this little button that pops up. So I can actually click that. That'll actually extract all that information from that node and will place it into the chat right here. And then NA10 boy will also reply to us based on that actual node as well. And then there we go. We get all the information. So as you saw before, when I made those prompts, we can see them all right here, okay? And the great thing as well, we can also just copy the code from the code blocks just using the copy button right here. So as soon as we copy that, just as an example, there you go. It's all placed in a chat right here. So it's just a lot easier to copy paste things, you know, just to make it a lot easier for you as well. 
And if you see this number right here, this is a very important number to know. If you want to use it right now, just go to na10boy.kenkais.com. Come over here to the website, go to install extension, go through all the step-by-step -step instructions right here. It's very, very simple. I mean, anyone could do this. And then after that, come along with me in school, you know, have some fun. Let's learn some new things together. And yeah, enjoy. Hope you have a good night or day. See you again next time.